Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This channel is all about Saints Row, and today is no different. We're going to be talking about the Like a Boss customization trailer that we've seen actually a week or two ago now, and I wanted to give my thoughts about it because there's a lot of stuff that I think people missed. First off, I really think that people underplayed your Rome customization as a boss. Like, you're able to literally um, change your body, face, hair, and clothes, and not only clothes, but also the layers of different clothes that you have on. And on top of that, you can also essentially create whoever or whatever you want, be your own boss and make specifically that character specifically yours as well. Now, I'll be really interested to see like all of the different character creations people come up with. I know that there's things that likely the devs haven't even thought would be possible. And also different renditions of existing characters from other games that are added into Saints Row via character customization. Truly there will be some ridiculous boss customization. Now as well we do have some vehicle customization. Something again that a lot of people really didn't talk much about. In this there is going to be so many different vehicles and within that you're not only going to be able to customize the aesthetics of the cars which includes the color the vineyards and the decals and all of that kind of stuff to make it, the vehicle look unique much like with the Grand Theft Auto game but you also can give it upgrades to make it customizable to the way that you enjoy playing in vehicles and then on top of that you can have like fun different uh, signature abilities and even sound engines in order to make it even more unique. Within that as well, we very much are expecting to have some rather crazy antics with the cars where you can do crazy stupid abilities, something that as Saints Row fans I think we all enjoy. I want to see a flying car, I want to see a car that can jump really high, I want to see some other crazy designs, a an ejection seat car where you can literally eject out on top of the car. Likewise, I want to see a car with a gun on top of it, I want to see a bunch of you know crazy aesthetic cars that have different purposes based on the way that I enjoy playing Saints Row. Now of course as well, it wouldn't be a Saints Row game without some weapon customization. Of course you can change up your hardware, and so the colour, the pattern, the decal, and even the material of the gun can uh, be changed in order to give your loadouts the best options possible. We very well likely may see some mechanical changes as well within the guns in order to perhaps. A good example would be maybe you can change the ammo of the gun so maybe you have different ammo types or different attachments for the guns and I very likely suspect that will be a thing. Although they haven't specifically yet advertised that as a feature, although I think it's something that in modern games these days we kind of just expect will be there. Now we do also have a new HQ and city in Saints Row which is of course customizable and you can essentially change the charge of your HQ in order to decorate it as you see fit. And as you get more powerful, your HQ is actually going to uh, improve over time and you're gonna be able to add different final touches to make the HQ yours. And so for example, you might be able to add in, and we know for sure that you can add in statues, is a good example of something you can add in, different colors and styles to the HQ. It's very much expected to, and they did allude to that as a feature without specifically saying that in exact words. Now I know of course in the trailer, and even I hinted at this, you can customize the city to an extent as well. Because as you go through the game and you grow as a criminal, you also will be able to customize your criminal ventures. And so what that's likely going to mean is buildings that you own, districts that you own, will have some change in flavor as your faction gets stronger or perhaps as you progress through the game's story. Now apparently you can also customize how your recruits appear and also the crewmates that you have as well with a plethora of different unlockable outfits in order to make sure that everyone has a similar theme or whatever you're going for with your customization. Now I did want to go over some more specifics here and so for example with the weapon customization I think it's going to be one of the most interesting so far. Honestly I really like the fact that we're getting a more open world game with deep customization options where the developers aren't nickel and diming you with <laughs> microtransactions every second 
for every little thing, or claim that it's a free grind if you spend 2,000 hours in order to get the stuff. And really that is a slight jab at games like Grand Theft Auto, which definitely do do that. So yeah, it really does look enjoyable. I sunk so many hours into Saints Row 1 co-op, Saints Row 2 co-op, and Saints Row 3 co-op. And on top of that, I believe I even played Saints Row 4, I think, all the way to the end. I know that a lot of people were even going to be looking forward to the secret islands, the underground mall, the caverns, and the diverse map with different zones that Saints Row did so well, and hopefully this game does as well. And that's really why I think a lot of people love the Saints Row 2 world. Um, people really did like that, you know, you could go through midway through the game and like realize, oh, there's an underground mall. And then you're like, wait, what underground mall? And you realize, oh, there's an entire part of the game that I haven't even seen yet. And that's part of the reason that I think some people really weren't that impressed with Saints Row 3 relative to Saints Row 2. It was because the world design of the game was a little bit too streamlined and again that's something that we're hoping with this new Saints Row game we get to get back to. Now we're also wondering about a few things still and we're not entirely sure if they're going to be there. So for example different voice options. Are we going to be able to have different voice options for the boss like we had with other games in order to have something which you as a player enjoys? All we know so far is that there is a voice switch, but we just don't know too much more about that. Another thing that I haven't heard much about so far is the radio. We do very much know that the radio in previous games of Saints Row was actually pretty good, and I hope that the new Saints Row game does live to that standard, which I think we've all set for the series as a whole. Now I know that a lot, including me, might have a slight issue with the current characters cast that we have in terms of them being very like happy go lucky gangsters. A lot of the new characters that we have in the game definitely do not have any kind of vibe that you would associate with a gangster and so maybe they'll change that before this game is released or change it via DLC or maybe there's um, character development that they haven't shown yet because it would be spoilers. But so far a lot of people in the community definitely are slightly concerned about that and we'll see how it ends up. Of course this game is meant to be fun, it's meant to be something enjoyable, it isn't meant to be something super competitive and of course if they decide to go with a new flavour to the game in order to try to bring it more into 2022 I can understand that but I don't think that necessarily involves changing the characters but instead should be about uh, better mechanics and better game design. It shouldn't be about the characters looking 2022. Um, that isn't really what people want from gangster characters in a Saints Row game. But we'll see, and I'm very interested to see how this game goes. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section. And if you'd like to subscribe, I really think you should, because of course, if you watch this much of the video, it's likely that you would benefit from subscribing. Until next time, have a great day. I'm out. GG. Bye-bye.